Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. Let's start off today with an update regarding a few legislative issues. Attached to this Take 5 is a letter that we sent to members of the various education committees regarding the repayment of the shift. The letter was sent from myself representing MASA, Scott Grunquist representing the Association of Metropolitan School Districts, Brad Lundell representing Schools for Equity in Education, Fred Nolan representing Minnesota Rural Education Association, Jerem Grathwell representing Minneapolis uh, Public Schools, and Mary Doherty Gilbert representing the St. Paul Public Schools. In the letter, we talked about our stance regarding the repayment of the shift. We received direction from our legislative committee back in November that the repayment of the shift was not a top priority for MASA. The thought is very simple. At this point in time, the shift stands at 82.5% and then 17.5% revenue this following year. With the increase in revenue over the last three months, it is estimated that this repayment will be up to 85% in the current year, 15% the following year. The repayment of the shift would take approximately another $500 million. We are in a tight economy. The state is facing a potential deficit. We want to make sure that dollars that are provided to schools over the course of the next biennium are new dollars that go to programs that will help us move forward and not dollars that will repay the shift, which do not provide you any new dollars to either maintain what you're currently doing or explore some new activities and programs for your students. We understand that this may not be the opinion of every single member of our association, but this was the consensus opinion that any new revenue be provided as new revenue and not as repayment. We have a statute in place that is working, the shift is being repaid, and it, uh, we just wanted to share with you what uh, we shared uh, with the members, and specifically, this went to the members of the House Education Finance Committee. Secondly, discussions are continuing regarding the teacher licensure exam uh, dilemma. Um, I heard from a lot of you last year, this caused you challenges when you wanted to hire people, but you didn't know if they passed the basic skills test. And it's getting a lot of play at the legislature in the uh, House um, Education Reform uh, Policy Committee. Uh, where it's going to go, we're not sure, but it does appear that there is an interest in creating some type of an adjustment or modification to the current law. Integration revenue is, is another hot topic this year. Uh, there are a lot of conversations about what will the funding look like beginning in July of 2013. As we're meeting with individual members of the House and Senate, we are emphasizing to them that you as school leaders are currently building your budget for next year and the following year, and it's imperative that schools get some type of a signal sooner versus later as to how the integration and equity revenue from the past will be provided to schools moving forward. More to come uh, as we gain additional information. I want to mention our spring conference is coming. It's hard to believe that we're in the middle of February. The spring conference literally is about four weeks away. It's being held on Thursday and Friday. March 14th and 15th at the Minneapolis Marriott Northwest. Registration information is available on our website. We're continuing our theme of, of uh, innovation. It starts with a vision and know that from the response we received at the fall conference, people will be excited to be in attendance at this very worthwhile professional development experience. And lastly, Ruth's Table is also a professional development opportunity that we're offering uh, for women within our organization and other women uh, within the field of education. In information regarding registration also is available on our website. Ruth's uh, Table will be held on Wednesday afternoon, March 13th, once again at the Minneapolis Marriott Northwest. As always, thanks for what you do on a daily basis for our children. Please contact me if I can be of assistance to you at 651 319 1211. Thank you.